JBL introduced the first active portable PA speaker in Eon. You know, that was a, a revolutionary uh, speaker to the market. And now, you know, 90% of the speakers that are sold, the PA speakers that are sold are active speakers. So that really shows you why JBL started building portable PA speakers in the first place. Um, and really the need comes down to the fact that nobody likes to be somewhere where they need their voice or their medium to be heard and they don't have the ability to do so, right? Nothing's worse than being in a, in a, in a meeting and having the presenter have to yell just to be heard. You know, not only is that bad for the presenter, their voice can go away and things like that, but it's bad for the audience. Your message may not get across, you know? Same thing for, for musicians. What we really wanted out of a portable PA speaker for musicians is something that's transparent. Musicians spend countless hours crafting their tone, how they sound, um, and what we didn't want to do was interfere with that. We want a speaker that's flat and neutral and can act as a creative tool uh, as opposed to some sort of creative hindrance. You know, the portable PA market uh, during the, the COVID timeframe took a bit of a step back in regards to its growth opportunities. But what we all learned while being trapped inside of our houses was that we missed being outside experiencing, you know, live music and live messages and things like that, interacting with our fellow human, right? And portable PA in that sense allows us to get out and do that again. And that's why it has been such a great growth uh, category coming out of the, the, the pandemic and how that set us all back a little bit. But realistically, it's, it's getting out with the portable PA speaker and finding the need that suits you. And I think that there's, there's a lot of, of verticals and places that touches. I think a lot of people see portable PA speakers as very one dimensional. Uh, and one design philosophy that we take at JBL is really making a speaker that can do multiple things, not just one thing. Uh, an example would be our Eon One Mark II, right? Obviously this has enough inputs to plug in a guitar and microphone and what have you and do a small show like that. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere you don't have access to regular power. And in addition to that, it's quite loud. It can service the needs of portable sermons or fitness instructors. It can service the needs of just a, a corporate meeting space. Uh, but then on top of that, it can service the needs of a DJ who's got a wedding on the beach and no access to power, or a musician who wants to go busking in, in downtown and doesn't want to carry around a boat battery. So realistically, that one speaker can serve all of those needs. And now imagine if you're the IT or audio professional who's making these decisions, you now have a, a tool in your toolkit that's capable of covering multiple scenarios. And you know anybody in a working environment knows that uh, one tool that can do multiple things becomes the most used tool in the toolbox.